turning gradually into a side head chancery there by Vito. There it is. All starting with a headlock and strangle. He switched holes in the middle without releasing his man. Vito went with the break there, followed it down quickly, but I don't think it'll be quick enough or heavy enough onto this big man from Sierra Leone to hold him a count of three. Not from that angle anyway. Trotch holds, attempts to slam, then come off. Vida still holding the side head chancel. Prevented his opponent slamming then. Uh, old back elbow to the stomach but still he doesn't release trying to lay it on even harder throwing him out one he, uh, that was very very near that because the right knee of Vito came over onto Zimba's right arm but couldn't reach with the left but the nearest is Ben to a pinfall count of two Just under a minute to go in this fourth round of six. One fall decides the bar. Using his speed once more in the attack. Twelve seconds. On the bell now. Well, Vida doing extremely well to stay four rounds without even a, a pinfall chance really against him. In fact, the only two pinfall chances have been on this bout up to now uh, by him. <laughs> He's grinning, I think, simply because there are a few ladies just behind him in the crowd there making remarks, which they, of course, cannot resist doing when this, uh, their favorite heavyweight is in the room. Second away, round five. Round five. Two to go. Great knee drop by Zemba. One fall decides the contest. Two rounds to go. Vider versus Honey Boy Zimba from West Africa. Full Boston to Zimba. The first danger that Vido's really been in for quite for a couple of rounds anyway. Fall through those legs, yes, first time, but the legs, his own legs are still caught well in the Boston Crab if Zimba can turn. Nice throw. Again, trying the butts when he gets really worried about things, Zimba tries that butt to Vito's forehead. Paul Nelson now, Zimberg, hardly reached, but he's got it on pretty far. Oh, yeah. And again. 
turn. Double arm there. One with the legs, one with the arms. Now, can he cause him to lose balance? Get him over the top for a shoulder press. This is what he's aiming for. There's the shoulder press. Two, three, he's got it. And Vita's made it in round five. Very, very well done indeed. Steve Vita. And it turned out to be a great bout in the finish with a win to Vita in round five. And Bobby Palmer, our MC, to announce it. Hi, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel sure you've seen a good contest, a good heavyweight contest. And the winner by the only four required, Steve Vida.